I may not move them around. I purposely didn't tell you the rules of the game because the first time we play, I just wanted you to have your own patterns. We're going to play more than once, so uh, I'm going to roll two of these number cubes. I'm, I, I don't believe in doing any work I don't have to do. That's what you guys get paid to do. So I'm going to show, you'll see what numbers come up, and I want, I'll call on somebody to give me the sum, all right? If you have a chip on that number, you can take it off. Pull it off. That's why it's called remove one. So if you have, some of you are looking at each other funny. If you have a chip on that number, you can remove one. All right? Everybody have 15 chips? No. Yeah. All right. We're going to play the game until somebody clears off their whole board. All right? And then we're going to talk about what happened. And then we'll play again. All right? While you're taking chips off, I'm going to be putting chips on. So I'm going to build a graph of what's coming up. And then we're going to talk about that graph. That might help you a little bit later in figuring out how you want to put your chips the next time you play. Any questions? This is just our practice game. So if you made a mistake, not a big deal. In fact, sometimes you learn more by making mistakes than by getting it right. Ready to go? All right, let me get my chips out because I'm going to build a graph. What we're going to do is just go right around the table. So we're going to start with Aiden. You're going to give me the sum, and then the next time Samantha will give me the sum, and we'll just go from table to table, okay? All right, here we go. All right, Aiden. Oh, you can't see it because I'm not on the board. How about five and one? You still can't see it. Um, six. Six. So if you have a chip on six, you may remove one. Not the whole stack, just one. Okay, ready to go? Let's keep moving. Samantha. Six and four, this, the yellow one's kind of hard to see. Six and four is 10. If you have a chip on 10, you can remove one. Four and four. Oh, eight. Eight. You know what, give me your green guy. That makes you look better. Okay. Projector, I'll trade. Yeah. That's right. If you have a chip on eight, you may remove one. So keep moving here. Five and three. Eight. If you have another chip on eight, you may remove one. I'm having so much fun watching you. Four and two is what? Six. Six. So if you have a chip on six, you know what to do with it. Let's move to that table back there. Two and one? Mm -hmm. Oh, three. Three? So if you have any chips on three, you may remove one. Five and one? Mm -hmm. Six. Three and three? Six. Six. Anybody got them all gone yet? No. Eight. Yay or boo or. <laughs> There's a cave. 
four and six? Mm. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Ten. Are you remembering to take them off, everybody? Yeah. Anybody got them all gone yet? No. Oh. How many people, does anybody have six or less left? Six or less? What? What's your question? I don't know. What do you think? Uh-oh. What does that mean? That means some people said they're never going to win. Does that tell you something about next time you play? That's why I didn't tell you the rules in advance. I wanted you to figure that out. That's why this is a practice game. Six and three. I think we're at this table. Six and three. Nine. Six. Six? I'm right off the screen. 
Yeah, I'm 